Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a fire skin making her Invicta debut in two weeks, July the 15th. Tiffany, the Rainbow Renegade Masters, who's 2-0 in her young career. Tiffany, I appreciate time. How's uh, house preparations going for this fight? Uh, it's going well. Uh, it's definitely intense, a lot harder than my other fight camps have been, but I'm feeling good. I feel ready. Any uh, reason in particular why the intensity is harder for this fight camp as opposed to the previous two uh, pro fights? I, I just want to do well. Uh, so I've been putting in a lot of extra work on my own time uh, as, well at the, as well as at the gym. And, of course, that pro debut came all the way back in December. Did, did you think that uh, an opportunity in Victa would come this quick, or is this kind of how you envision everything going? Um, I didn't think so. I thought I might have to have a few more fights before I would get noticed by Invicta or any of the other larger promotions, but I'm definitely happy that it happened this quick. And for people who do not know your backstory, you had a very successful amateur career, but I, I'm told is that MMA, when it was first kind of you know introduced to you, you weren't exactly kind of all in. It, it took a little bit of time. Uh, what all what, is there a particular reason why it took some time for you to kind of realize that this was your path? Yeah, so I was good with what I had. I didn't really have any interest in doing MMA at all, but um, that was in high school. So later after high school, I was like, oh, I kind of miss wrestling. And I saw a fight on TV and I saw that they wrestle a lot. So I was like, maybe I can give this a try. So and then I just fell in love with it. <laughs> Is, is there a certain aspect of the sport of, of why you ultimately fell in love with it? Was, was it a competition aspect? Was it something else of why you, you just love the sport so much? Yeah, I've always been really competitive, so I definitely love that it's very competitive, and I love that there's so much to learn. Like, every day I'm learning something else, something new, so um, I just love learning and working out. <laughs> Is there something in this training camp that you have, you know, really learned, you know, maybe it's a technique or maybe it's just a, the mental side of the game. Is there something that's happened in this camp that you, you realize, you know, that you just had not grasped in previous camps? Uh, the main thing that I personally have been working on is speed. Um, a lot of times when I'm at the gym, I just kind of get into this groove of like familiarity and I don't really like push myself a lot sometimes so I've really been working on speed trying to get my hands faster like my wrestling faster just everything faster and that's really come out a lot in this camp when you step into the Invicta cage here in two weeks there's gonna be a lot of people this will be their first time ever seeing you compete what would you want those fans to know about you maybe as a person and as a fighter um as a fighter I just try to keep it as exciting as possible um I love watching all fights, but, you know, sometimes every once in a while you'll see one where it's like, okay, nothing's really happening. So I try to I try to keep it um, exciting for sure. And as a person, I, I don't know, I guess I just love what I do, and I can't wait to get in there and show everyone that. What do you do to get your mind off the fight game when you're not in training and, and you're just, you know, it's it, you can do whatever you want? Is there something that you do to kind of help you get your mind off the fight game? Um, I try to spend a lot of time with my friends. They tend to keep me sane. Um, <laughs> when the fight camp gets tough and you're just, just sometimes down in the dumps or just had like a hard day or something, they usually keep me from just going crazy and keep everything a little lighter. Of course, we're, we're two weeks out from this fight. So what is the next two weeks like for you? Uh, the, two, the next two weeks, um, this next week is going to be pretty hard it's going to be pretty much the peak of the camp so it's going to be a rough week but um diet wise everything's going good so uh, it shouldn't be too difficult in terms of your opponent mallory martin she's one and one in her career she's coming off a loss in invicta uh what what do you what really jumps out to you when, when you watch her fight and you see it as what she does the best uh, I know she's a stand-up fighter, um, trains at Tiger Muay Thai, so I think that's definitely going to be what I have uh, the most problems with, is just the stand-up, but I'm not too scared of it. Anyone who's, who's watching this video, they, they see your tattoos. When was, the, when, <laughs> when was your first tattoo? My first tattoo, actually. Okay, so I have a whole 
like half sleeve now, but the very first tattoo was just this little kanji right there. That's the first thing that I had. Now, what made you get that? Was it was it just was there something going on your life in your life at that time that made you get it there? Yeah, well, um, so I have like a summer birthday, so I didn't turn eighteen until after I got out of high school, but. Um, it means overcome, so I just thought that it was kind of fitting, like, I've overcome a lot already, and it's kind of a reminder, too, to just, like, keep overcoming obstacles and just keep getting better and just keep working hard. What's the biggest obstacle you've been able to overcome to this point in your MMA career? In, uh, ooh, the, my professional debut... No, my second professional fight, I sprained my ankle um, like a month before the fight. So that was definitely the hardest for me, trying to train on that and feel ready and not be stressed about fighting on like an injured ankle still. Was there ever a thought of pulling out of the fight? There was a brief thought (laughs) when it first happened, but... I gave it a couple days of rest, and it got better. So I was like, all right, no, I can do this. It'll be all right. You mentioned about uh, you know what helps you get your mind of the fight game is being around your friends. So what's your friends and family think about you being a fighter? My friends think it's awesome, that's for <laughs> sure. And my family, it took a little time for them to come around. My mom especially, she was like, oh, I don't want you to go in there and get hurt. And, like, these people are going to be beating my baby up. And so it took her a little bit, but after the first couple of fights, she really started getting into it. She's definitely still nervous all the time, but no. she loves it. <laughs> Does she come to all of your fights? Uh, yeah, I think she's been to all of them except for, like, one. Now, is she the loud parent or very, you know, soft parent that doesn't really say anything? She, she's, like... The wants to be loud parent, but is like too scared. So it's just kind of like sitting in her seat like, oh, I hope it's okay. <laughs> but of course, you've got the fight here in Invicta. Um, your debut with Invicta. Do you do you expect to to have any any jitters at all in, in this fight? Or is it kind of like, look, this is just, it, it, yes, it's a different promotion, but this is what I do. It's, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to lock that cage and it's going to be me, my opponent, and the referee in there. It's no different than any other fight. I'm trying to keep a, um, it's no different than any other fight mindset, but I always get jitters anyway, so there are definitely a little bit, but I'm just trying to keep it cool and not overthink it too much. Would you be concerned if you did not have jitters? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're like, oh, this is cool. I'm not nervous at all. (laughs) You also mentioned about, you know, you want to be an exciting fighter. Um, how do you balance that line of being an exciting fighter, but also, um, you know, making sure you're not getting reckless and putting yourself in a bad situation? It's it's definitely a fine line. Um, I've even at practice, like in sparring, sometimes I'll find that I just start getting to be too forward and too aggressive and start like messing up, and then I'll like get clocked or something. So I think it's it's mostly just something that I've kind of worked out by now and learned um but it i do still sometimes like get to a little overzealous where mm-hmm. i start like going and then my hands start dropping and then just everything goes to hell but then you just gotta like remind yourself and keep yourself level-headed uh, to not go too crazy do your coaches use any unique techniques when they start seeing your hands dropping? I mean, you know, sometimes you hear fighters will say you know, their coach may have a pool uh, pool noodle and they start smacking <laughs> with it every time you, your hands drop. Do, do your coaches do anything like that? Not necessarily. I've, I've gotten better about it now, so I don't really – I sometimes still get yelled at, but I don't get, like, the pool noodle or anything. Um, when I first started – um, I would always do that and I would, I would always duck my head too so they just put me on the wall and they were like alright put your hands up block and then everyone's just going to go through and hit you so <laughs> that was the that was an experience Any predictions on, on how you get the victory here against Mallory at Invicta? On how I get it? Um, well there's been a pattern in my fights most of my fights have ended by TKO on the ground so if we're following that pattern, that's probably how it's going to end. 
both of your pro wins in the first round. Is there all part of you that, you know, wants to get into the second or third round to just kind of get that experience or is the mindset of I, I get paid a certain rate. It doesn't matter where I finish the fight in a minute or, or 15 minutes. I mean, how do you look at that? I look at it as I always try to think when I'm going into the cage that it's going to be a three round fight. And so I'm always trying to like prepare myself for that. Um, and then if it ends earlier, then good for me, <laughs> but I don't, I don't like necessarily want it to be a three round fight. I think it's yeah. like, if it gets done early, a plus <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, I really do appreciate time. Good luck here on July 15th at Invicta. Let everyone know where they can follow you out on social media. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram, um, at Tfbot. It's T E E F F B O T. And then I also have a fan page on Facebook. Um, Tiffany Rainbow Renegade Masters.